Hello, audience. Welcome to another installment of Joel Tries, where I, the Joel, try out a game. And today I'll be trying Legendary Wings, developed and published by Capcom, released in the U.S. in 1988. Here we go. Ah, I am a man with the wings, and I shoot. Give it a view. All right. Oh, and I got some bombs. Looks like they can hit the ground. Oh, that was that was very good. All right. I got P. I love P. Yeah. Yeah. So looks like I got a bomb that can kind of hit the ground, destroy stuff out in front of me. Oh, oh geez. Where are these guys? So many bad guys. So much going on here. Ah. Look, look here, game. I gotta look at my notes if I'm gonna say stuff. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, uh, oh I think it... Did, did it eat me? Danger. Ah, uh, oh, no. What's... Uh, what the... Uh, what's going... Wait. My... Oh, I'm, I'm scrolling sideways now. Uh, okay. Can I kill these, um... Mosquitoes? Hornets? I'm not sure. Oh, there's a mouth in the wall. Oh, the graphics of this game are great. This game looks awesome. This. The character is very well defined, although he or she is wearing pink, which makes me feel rather manly. Looks like I'm flying around the side of a brain with a rib cage around it. It's like Avidox all over again. Oh, up or down, up or down. Up. Let's go up. Up. That wasn't exactly a very important choice, apparently. What are those things? What is that? Looks like, like some sort of part of a body there. I'm, it's all together makes me very uncomfortable. But my wings are legendary, so I should be fine, right? Yeah, sure. Oh, I made a dingle noise. I think I got a light. Awesome. Oh, what's that thing? Oh, oh, oh. You can go through the walls. Oh, oh, jeez, these things are everywhere. Okay, apparently getting hit once doesn't kill you, but makes you lose your power-ups if you have power-ups. Oh, this is very narrow. Stay away, green thing. Ah, ah. Oh, I'm down to my... Oh. Fraggle, braggle. That did not go very well. That was like an organ, just kind of like growing out of the side of the wall there, like a heart or something. Oh, what now? What? What? What's going on? It's, it's black. It's darkness. I've gone blind! Wait. The side of a blue broom? Uh, I guess I gotta fight this centipede for some reason. I'm not, it doesn't seem like I'm hurting it. Uh, does it have a weak spot? Am I supposed to hit it in the weak spot? Oh, I, I killed it. It's dead. Hey, no, it's not dead. There's another one. Oh, there was two of them. I see. Ah, I killed you, centipedes. Oh, I'm back right out of the mouth where I was. Like, oh, like nothing had happened, huh? Okay, I think. If I'm careful and avoid those, I can actually not have to go in there. Oh, oh, slow down. <laughs> I almost got one. Beat you up. Yeah. Uh, 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 oh, those things are tough. Even if I had my gun upgrades that got taken away from me, I'd be okay. Okay, apparently aiming these grenade things is not as hard as it looks like, because it just kind of goes to the ground below you. Oh, look at the statue things. I blow them. Ah, oh, they're heads! The heads of the statues. Oh, they're like indestructible. Ah. Okay, this game is very fast paced, so I am going to tell you, audience, that this game is a port of the 1986 arcade game. And the story is in the distant future, possibly 20,000 years in the future, humans have devised a supercomputer called Dark that helped them to achieve an enlightened era, which, for some reason, is very Greek. But now it's turned evil! And two warriors are given the, the wings of love and courage by Ares, the god of war, in order to destroy Dark and save humanity. Apparently their wings are mechanical in nature. It's a very weird story. Um, let's see. In, in the arcade version, the two characters were called Michael Hart and Kevin Walker. Oh, Michelle Hart and Kevin Walker. And one of them was a girl. And then U.S. In the United States, the first one had those characters. And the second one, they were just nameless guys. The game has five stages. Let's go ahead and try again real quick here. See if we can make it at least through the first stage. Ah, uh, I'm so embarrassed for myself. Ow. Well, off to a fantastic start. There we go. 
spaces in the, the walls are very nice details. They're very happy, too. They're glad I'm here, because I'm, I'm going to save the day. They're like, hey, we're happy to see you. We're faces. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's so much going on here. This is a really great shooter, though. I mean, it's keeping up at a pretty good clip. I've, got, I've received very little slowdown, except when I was fighting those four things that were very difficult to kill. Oh, did I lose my power-ups? Oh, I think I did. Yeah, I want more power-ups. Oh, stop getting hit. Okay, now, how do I keep getting sucked into this mouth thing? Do I just, can I just fly past it without... Okay, I guess if I don't get hit by the air, I can uh, pass it up. But now I've got to fight these guys. I have the lowest level out. Lowest level upgrades, so I can't beat them. I, mean, I probably could. Ah, jeez. Oh man, again? All right, I'm gonna make it farther than the time before. I really am. I'm gonna give it one more try, one more. Cause Joel needs to try. I need to at least give you guys a good idea of what this game's about. That's that's how I feel. I'll try not to die in the first ten seconds again. I'm really going to. Let's see if we can manage this. Oh, man. I think that was within the first 10 seconds. I'm I'm just no good at this one. There we go. There we go. Yeah, you guys got nothing. You guys got nothing. You can't get me. Power up. I want it. Yes. P. I've got the power of P. You don't have to beat me in my power of P. There's so many things on screen at one time here. I mean, yeah, it's not a shmup or anything, but, like... A lot going on here. This. Ah, the face. The jerk face. Stop blowing that air at me. I don't want to go back in there. Don't make me go back in there. Alright, I got the second level power up, so maybe I can beat a couple of these things. Oh, darn it. Maybe not. I'm not even dropping power ups or anything. This, do I have to beat this as like a mini boss? I probably do. It's not scrolling off the screen. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay, so I don't have to beat those things. Uh, oh, darn it. Man. Oh, we're back at the heads. Okay, at least I made it as far as I was last time, so I don't feel quite so bad. Uh, the first time. I, I made this for the first time. There we go. So yeah, they got these buried statues in the ground. Throw, shoot their heads at me. It's crazy. Oh, this game's great, but can't seem to get very far in it. I'm already giving it three tries. It's a really good game. I'm, I'm going I'm to do one more. Just one more. Probably an hour from now, I'll be saying, just one more, just one more. No, this is really the last time. Really. I mean it this time. Ah, oh, man. Come on. Can you break your just ridiculously fast flying things? Can Capcom make their games any harder? I mean, really? One hit kills and... Ah. Oh. Well, at least the power-ups kind of give you a little extra health. You know, then you lose your power-ups, which are super awesome. And you feel even more annoyed. But, oh. Dang it. Alright, I got power-up. I got power-up. I got some lasers of some sort here. Man. Alright, note to self-humanity. Do not build evil supercomputer requiring me to go through this in real life at some point. Because this is very difficult. And that wraps up this edition of Joel Tries. Stay tuned for more of the Joel action. You can reach me at my Twitter at I'm a Joel. I am a Joel. Oh, and also the music in this game rocks and the controls are solid. Farewell!